Isan has done a survey of OER in the Commonwealth, and he will present some of the key findings that will be interest to all of us. Thank you, Sanjay. You you would have oh yeah yeah thank you. Um, you would have gotten a printed version of this particular report, which we launched during the uh, Pan Commonwealth Forum uh, the past few days. Uh, it basically looks at uh, four recommendations of the 2012 Paris OER Declaration. What we wanted to do was to find out what has happened in the uh, Commonwealth region with respect to these four recommendations. Um, we had around 1,200 responses uh, for this particular uh, survey, and out of that, 657 uh, complete responses uh, from 28 countries and 214 institutions. Um, so I'm going to share some of the uh, key highlights. We, we developed six uh, research questions which we tried to answer. And as you can see from here, you know, there is still uneven awareness of OER uh, within the Commonwealth, although many of the participants did have some understanding of OER. They, the teachers generally believe that OER uh, will help them in their teaching and learning and uh, only about 50% uh, of the teachers are trained in practice. One of the barriers they, they mentioned specifically is that our interventions, our workshops, our capacity building does not last long enough for them to grasp the hands-on aspects of uh, OER. So uh, the second thing we wanted to uh, know about was the perceptions of OER. So um, yes, um, teachers do agree in general that OER is of uh, high quality and it does save uh, costs for students. However, in Asia there are no, I mean, uh, there are no significant case studies which have been done um, as uh, Professor Wiley has done in the US, which, you know, we, which will be the next step for us uh, in the Commonwealth. Uh, with respect to the licensing, we wanted to know um, how familiar uh, our Commonwealth uh, citizens were uh, of the Creative Commons license. Uh, open licensing is generally perceived as an important aspect. However, as you can see, the, uh, cr the different derivations of the Creative Commons license is um, not um, as well known. Um, a CC0 or public domain, we, we believe that um, uh, the wider majority accepts anything open as public domain, which is not the case. So there, uh, there needs to be more capacity building with respect to licensing uh, and the Creative Commons regime if they are to move forwards. So looking at the barriers, this resonates with uh, some of the barriers which we will be talking about uh, in the next, uh, today and tomorrow as well. So lack of information on uh, quality of an OER, uh, scarcity of OER in video and audio formats, and, um, and the other thing is there's still uh, no action being taken to mitigate some of these challenges. Um, so um, uh, one important aspect is the, the respondents mentioned that they want to look at where the OER came from. They wanted to look at whether the OER comes from a credible uh, institution, whether there has been some quality assurance done uh, on the OER. That was quite important. And uh, the number of downloads of an OER, uh, the, uh, the uh, star count or a, any other kind of feedback was not perceived as that important, uh, but uh, you know, where it actually originated from. Looking at this, um, it gives us an indication of what kind of material the uh, population is in the Commonwealth is using, uh, mostly text-based materials, um, and uh, they are using uh, word format uh, in general. Um, also, you can see 52% are using PDF documents uh, and 21% HTML. I mean, if you take the, uh, the ALMS um, framework, uh, that would not be the case. You know, HTML should be used much more. However, we believe that, you know, there is a lack of skills with respect to repurposing HTML material, whereas, you know, PDF, they can try to copy and paste and try to reuse them uh, as they go along. The um, last key finding that uh, we are we, uh, um, talking about is how they go about searching for OER. 
And uh, as expected, many of them still use Google to uh, find their OER. Um, again, you know, the question arises and, few, uh, and further probing is required as to whether the materials they are looking for is exactly OER or whether they are perceiving something else as uh, open educational resources. Uh, if you look at some of the particular uh, repositories, uh, OER Commons is used and Wikimedia Commons is used. Um, and um, open textbooks um, are you know, kind of downloaded uh, quite often, followed by um, uh, course modules. Um, the thing is, uh, they also mentioned that uh, for them to use OER, the uh, fundamental aspect would be how easy it would be to download. So if a video is on YouTube, it would be quite difficult for them to download that particular video. So uh, when we are going forwards with uh, our interventions in the future, we need to make sure that uh, our materials are easily downloadable as well. Um, so those are the key findings. You can find the facts and figures in the report in front of you. Um, I will hand it over to Professor Asha Kanwa for the next section. Thank you.